Hey everyone, just on a day trip to York today. Uh, come to the National Railway Museum. Just got a good quick video for you going around it. Show a few of the exhibits. Not give up too much detail, but give enough. So, hope you like it. Okay, I've got a go to here of the Gladstone 042 in front of Queen Victoria's coach. To be honest, even though it's not a big engine, it's still big, if you know what I mean. It's, it's quite a weird thing. The behind it is Queen Victoria's coach, which would have been used in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And beyond that, you see there's a tiny coach in the middle of the two. That was a coach from 1840, used by Queen Adelaide, which was apparently uh, Victoria's aunt. So, to be honest, I've never seen that one before. I just don't remember seeing it. So, I move a bit further down. Down here at the other end, we've got a 12 wheel Royal Saloon. Not sure when this wouldn't be from. It looks like a converted Mark II, to be honest with you. So, I'm guessing about the late 70s. Royal Train's still in this colour, but nowadays I think it's uh, a bunch of Mark III's pulled by. Uh, Class 67s, uh, somebody will collect me on that if I'm wrong. Here's a side view shot of it, it's a bit dark in here so I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. Just looking in one of the rooms, it looks very basic actually, we've just got a bed, bedside table lamp, and at the end we've got a chair, and there's a desk next to it. It seems very basic to me for our Royal Coach, but it's still fancy the ones we have nowadays. And they get a good side shot, and we're going up there in a sec so you'll be able to see what's up there. Right at the other side, I've got Queen Mary's Saloon. Now, this is what I think of when I see a Royal Coach. Looks similar to the one to my left on the outside. If you look on the inside, there's an absolutely gorgeous interior. Sofas, curtains, old fancy wood panel work. Chair in the corner there. Lamps, desk, everything. That's what I think of when I see a Royal Coach. Now, further up from Mary's Coach, we've got two very, very nice looking LMS Celestary Coaches that we use for the Royal Train. Uh, can't see inside them unfortunately, there's nothing to see, but what really interests me is in front of them, see if we can get a good shot, we've got number 1300, the only Hughes Crab as far as I know, left in existence. So I thought this one was at Shildon actually, but uh, I was wrong. One thing that I like about this engine is the fact that if you look carefully, you'll notice that the tender and locomotive don't line up. The tender is actually too narrow for the locomotive, it's, it's a bit difficult to see with camera, but when you stood next to the engine you actually see what I mean, it, it does look very strange. And if you come around the front and get a good view of the front end, a little bit dark at the front end, but you can just about make it out. A beautiful lined LMS livery. As far as I know, it would have never have run like this. In fact, it has a five-digit number. As far as I know, some did have that, but I'm not sure how many. One thing I find interesting about this engine is the fact that there's no central unlocking handle on the uh, smoke box door. There's several bolts around the outside. In fact, there's eight. You'd have to wonder to get the smoke box door open instead of twisting two handles in the middle. So it gives it a look like a bit of a strange look, but quite unique, I think. So walk in the other side, you see the, the beautiful lined livery. They even done it to the wheels, I don't know if you can see. Just uh, there, around the wheels. A bit, very big attention to detail. Walk in the other side, is it? Yes, it is London, Midland and Scottish. So I don't know some had numbers like this, but I know that... Uh, Usually, pre nationalisation companies only had four numbers in the running number. So, it's quite an interesting thing to see that. Down the side, you go back down the side of the LMS uh, Celestial coaches. Uh, right down there to uh, another coach. So, yeah, so these things are bigger than I remember actually. And I just can't really see inside the coaches though, I'm afraid, so there's nothing to show you. Anyway, if we go over here, we have a post coach from the reign of Queen Victoria, very nice cream, uh, sorry, brown and cream livery, chocolate and, and cream. I'm not sure which railway company it is though. I'm sure it could be uh, Great Western or something like that. And there's the net on the side for catching the bags which are over there, which will be at the side of the track on a pylon. I've, never, I've actually seen them uh, do it on uh, YouTube, it's actually uh, quite interesting to see when they do it. And over here we've got a non-corridor coach, looks like uh, LMS or Midland Railway. I'm not too big on the idea of non-corridor coaches because when you go up to them, you'll notice it's just one area to sit in. There's no corridor connecting these areas, I just feel a bit strange about that. But then again, I'm used to modern trains and these haven't been used for uh, well, really since the 1960s. Again, somebody correct me on that if I'm wrong. So if you go over here, and a lovely shot of a blue Pullman coach. Blue Pullman, of course, was withdrawn in, I believe, the early 70s, mid 70s. We never got one over here on the East Coast, but we got uh, on the West and the Midland region. And at the front, it's uh, displayed with 
a class 87, 87001. One of the Bobo electric locomotives used on the western region. It's, it's a bit darker here, so you won't be able to see as much. See a very nice looking engine in the class 87. I think I've only ever seen one running there. Very nice. And just over here we've got uh, a well preserved example of an LMS corridor coach. It's quite got a very nice interior. This is the kind of coach I like riding on things like the North Yorkshire Moors and the Seven Valley. So we're looking here at the other side. The three you can see they've got a compartment on wheel meet again in the glass there. This is the kind of thing you would see at uh, many preservation railways. Very nicely preserved. And behind this we've got a Midland dining coach, the Midland Railway, which would have preceded the LMS. This is a little funny thing I've just read here. Say about how they throw potatoes out of the window if they ran out on the food on the train and the signalman would then tell the next station that they needed food and they'd have everything they're waiting for them. Well, that's what you do before you had a telephone. A bit further down here, there's all kinds of luggage and all the plates and uh, cutlery they'd be using. A bit further down, you've got a nice locomotive at the end. Very, very nicely preserved single, I think. Yeah, Midland single. Very, very nice looking engine. Classic looking, but not very uh, powerful, unfortunately, so weren't in service for that long. So, very nice to preserve, though. Nice to see it. Well, final shot here before my battery runs out. I've got a mixed freight train. Um, beheaded by, very interesting engine, an M7, LSWR M7. It's one of the very strange tank engines. You can't see it from this side, but it's actually a 044 tank engine. And uh, used on the southern region. I think there's only two preserved. I think the other one's running somewhere, but I'm not sure where. So, so obviously again, somebody leave me a comment. Okay, my battery's lasting just a little bit longer, thank God. Just thought I'd show you some inside of the workshop. We've got a, looks like a British Rail Class 02, I believe. In the workshop in quite good condition. Just needs a bit of a dust. Go further down, a Queen Mary brake van. Mainly used on the Southern Railway. Interesting fact, they're actually bogeyed brake vans. They're not uh, standard two axle ones that most other railways used. A bit further down, we've got quite a smart, line, smart little uh, 040 called Teddy. Let's see if we can get it so there's nothing shining on it. There you go, only a small thing with the world's smallest driver wheels. It can't be any more than two foot across. See, it's quite a nice little engine though. And if you turn around, I've got an absolutely massive Class 40. And a state of needing some repainting doing. So there's a bit of rust on the sides there. That's all the logo needs redoing, but still, nice engine. Just a quick one for you here. We've got the working replica of Rocket with its chimney folded down. Didn't know I could do that. So this isn't, of course, the original. The original is in the British Museum and is uh, not much left of it, but it's still there. There's a working replica of it. I think it was built around the 1980s. Not sure, but we've got uh, one wagon there, one coach, basically third class and first class. In front of them, we've got an absolutely huge breakdown crane. Okay, everyone, I'm going to leave it there for now. My battery's getting very low on my camera. I've done the uh, station house and the workshop tomorrow i'll be coming back hopefully and we'll be doing off the great hall which you've just heard there's 4a forcing so a bit of a treat for me i'll see you then